Right over here, we have a derelict vessel. So if your boat is left in this position, I do an investigation and I will have to place either a warrant or you'll be issued an arrest. Today we're at the city of Hollywood Marina and we're gonna be going on a ride along with the Hollywood PD Marine Patrol. Now this is the second video that we did with Hollywood PD. The first one was with their Jeep Gladiator. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go check that out. But today we're gonna be covering their Marine Patrol unit. You're gonna see a familiar face. Officer Christian Lada is back. He's meeting us up on the boat. He should be pulling up not too long from now. And then we're gonna jump on and then go for a ride along. Before we do, look, look what I see sitting in the parking lot back there. Let's go check that out. Oh. Oh, yeah. Retro G. Ooh, even got the wheel and light bar up top. Now be honest, if your agency told you you gotta drive this retro Jeep around for just a little bit while your car's in the shop, I don't think you'd be upset. I wouldn't. This is you. Yeah. What's going on, my brother? What's going on? A little different today. Yeah. We're going out on the water. You got to wear this though with us. All oh, right. thank you. All we right, haven't boss. even started yet, and I got presents. You have to teach me how to put this thing on. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so I was telling them uh, we're going out on Marine Patrol today. Yes, sir. A little bit different. You guys were on police cars last episode, and this episode. Police vlogs, new series. New series. Did you see the Mikasuki one? I did. It was awesome. Awesome. I loved it. All right. So today we're going on Marine Patrol. We got Officer Christian Lada back on the channel, and we got a new friend, right? Yes, sir. We have Officer Will Lapierre. Let's go meet him. Let's go meet him. So we got a new boat. Okay. And he's gonna be taking us out on it, and he's gonna tell you all about it. All right. What's, What's up, up, bro? What's up? How you doing? Bro? How's, how's everything? Everything's Good. great. It's nice so, to meet you guys. Yeah, <laughs> what are you assigned to? What unit you're assigned to? So I'm assigned to the Hollywood Police Department Marine Unit. All right, Marine Unit. How many years have you been on? I've been with Hollywood for about a year and a half now, but I transferred from the NYPD 10th Precinct, which I did three and a half years of service. ride my man appreciate it brother you had a good time out there i had a good time got some good shots of you on there doing some cool stuff and uh I'm, I'm eager to find out a little bit about this boat and like what's the make model and what do you use it for so what we got here is a 2021 fluid rib 26 foot in length we got twin 225 horsepower hondas on this stern uh, 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 uh. yeah so this boat cruises nicely out there that's for sure yeah so is this made for like the intercoastal or deep water hybrid? What, like, what's this 
So this vessel gives me the luxury to go pretty much anywhere that I would have to go to take enforcement. It, it doesn't cost most uh, a lot of water out there for me to go out. So I could go in real shallow locations. I could also handle some rough swells if I needed to. But for the intercoastal where I have my main enforcement, this boat is the boat. It allows me to safely approach vessels without having to worry about damaging their vessel or mine. As well, it maintains a low wake. So if I have to go anywhere, lights and sirens, I'll make sure everyone around me is safe. Yeah, so why, well, what's that important about the wake when you're throwing a wake? Why is that so important? It's very important here, especially in South Florida where we have kayakers, paddle boats, and then we have restaurants along the side. So if you're causing a large wake, what's gonna happen is someone could seriously get hurt in their kayak, they could flip over, possibly drown if they're unable to get out. And then secondly, any vessels that are tied up, docked at a restaurant, once those boats start rocking, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage if those boats hit the seawall in the right spot. So is that basically what some of the patrol that you guys do out here in this boat is, is maintain, make nobody riding fast, not throwing large wake? I see signs all over the place. Yeah, so we have a lot of idle zones, not only here in Hollywood, but Broward County. So the idle is to maintain the slowest speed as the vessel may operate while going forward. This means there's gonna be no wake behind you. Here in South Florida, we have manatee, dolphins, sea turtles. So while you're out there, you need to be at an idle speed, which is to maintain their safety. Right now, it's the end of March, so manatee season is over. So be aware and read the signs if you're unfamiliar with the area, because zones do change with their speed limits. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. So the zones change variation on the season, and whatever it may deem necessary, correct? Yes, they do. So you be a lot of the signs have a lot of words on it. So what I do on my personal boat is take a minute, read them, and see what you're getting into. Let's talk about this boat right quick. We got my radar system up top. As long as, long as I got my 360 degree lights, I got my sirens, and then on top of it, I got my radio right here, which is very important to me because I need to utilize this windshield. When I'm starting going fast and I'm talking to dispatch and other units, I can't hear them over this because of the wind and my speeds. I'm gonna to have to rely on this radio as my main source of communication. Then to talk to other boaters, I got my VHF radio. This allows me to talk and communicate with them. So this is usually boaters' main source of lifeline. You got a distress button in case you ever come in any kind of danger and this would directly get you in contact with the Coast Guard. As well, um, we have all my uh, accessories here. So anything with lights, there you go, bilge pumps. We also have our uh, life board flotation device. So here, if I ever have anybody in the water, I can lay them against this and I can safely pull them out. As well as we have our life saver. I'll throw it to anybody that's in distress in the waterway. I'll approach them and I'll get them on the vessel safely. I got my boat parked here. We'll be back. We'll be back to get it, Christian. My boat's here, guys. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Hey, you gotta move it, man. They're gonna give you a ticket. I know a guy. Yes, I, I'm aware. Trust me, you're not the only one that I'm going after. I've dealt with pretty much every one of these boats. To your left, this you probably want to... That one, the guy's been issued plenty of citations, and that boat's supposed to be removed from the water probably within the next week. So, trust me, it's not like I'm single-handedly pointing you guys out. Everyone who's out here is getting, you know, my presence. And then what you will end up doing is we'll do a sea trial. And if it turns out the boat's functional, you know, things should be turning out well in your favor, all right? So right now, I just need you to yeah, sign. Like I said, if right I next to the X. Before, man, we wouldn't, but... That is you. And here's your copy. All right. All right, you, you as well. Very nice Thank you. 
So right there, what we were doing is we're doing a vessel at risk. All vessels on the state of Florida have to have functioning engines. They're gonna remain out here. You have 72 hours to show me a test that you could run under your own propulsion. If you cannot, you will be issued a fine. This is my second time that I had to come out to his vessel. We came out last week with FWC doing a, conducting our inspections, which we do along all of our vessels in Hollywood, Florida. We make sure we come out to North Lake. We have Sheridan Street. We have a lot of vessels out here are anchored. And this is an issue that we're constantly enforcing. So this is the north end of Sheridan Street and North Ocean Drive. So right over here, we have a derelict vessel. This boat is sunk clearly. So derelict investigations, you have multiple cases that could deem a vessel derelict, which is a misdemeanor in the state of Florida. So if your boat is left in this position, I do an investigation, I try to find out who you are, and I will have to place either a warrant or you'll be issued an arrest. So if you don't have whole integrity, steerage, or your own uh, self-propulsion to move your boat. If you have two of those three I just listed, your boat's derelict. So right here, I have a lot of cases that are pending and I'm actively working on it. So if I do find you and I do deem your vessel is derelict, you will be issued citations and possibly arrest. <laughs> good, good. So um, right now I'm just doing a safety inspection. I just sure. want to make sure you have all your motor safety equipment. I'm just going to pull up alongside your starboard side, all right? So if you could put the jet ski in neutral. Is that jet ski in neutral? Yeah. All right, perfect. So do you have your uh, your flares or whistle? Perfect. Do you got a uh, fire extinguisher? Run. May I see you please? Just pull it out. It's uh, strapped down. I'll check it out. Uh, it's a nice jet ski. It's beautiful. Yeah, I just got it. Literally like a couple hours ago. Excellent. You're aware of the uh, all the you know idle signs and all the regulations? Yeah, I live right there. I was watching you guys look at the sunken oh, guys over there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there we go. Now we can't use that footage. I'm, yeah. I'm using it. Oh, you're recording me? <laughs> Thing, yeah, so on? I'm the lead investigator for that sunken one, and Lucky FWC you. has the other boat. <laughs> yeah. So it's a process. They can yeah. take anywhere from, you know, 45 to 90 days for them to be removed. Yeah. So it's it's not a quick process, but we're aware the people they already been cited or uh, you know served their arrest documentation for it. Yeah. So as I tell everyone on the water, like I'm actively working on all those cases in there. Yeah. It's just maritime law. All of them, huh? <laughs> trust, you, trust me, you can tell all your neighbors, I'm out there every yeah. day writing yeah. tickets. It's just... Uh, what's your what's your name? Will. Will? Yeah, so if you guys have any issue, you can always call 911, they'll direct you to my office number, and all right. you know, we can always talk, all right? All right, sounds good. Yeah. Thanks, take care. So you stop them, usually traffic stop. You need like PC, dark tint, uh, a headlight out or something. What's the deal uh, with jet skis or just anything on the water? So for any vessels, I have the right to conduct a safety inspection. So that, that was my reason to stop him, make sure he had his proper equipment that we discussed earlier today. And right there, you know, everything seemed to check out. You, knew, you know, he had a, new, a resident with a new jet ski during yeah. the day, that's all. All right, sounds good. And he, he made some complaints about the derelict vessels Yes, yeah, yeah. so it's an ongoing issue, not only with Hollywood, but the state of Florida. Yeah. So it is something that takes a lot of time. I do ask for the community to be patient with us because I am actively working on all these cases as long well with other agencies. And trust me, everything is being addressed. So as time goes on, you will see improvement and progress being made. you see right over the tree line it's a little cloudy and I've been out to Hollywood before a couple times couple times you know I don't work here however a little bit busier let's find out what's going on so the boat ramps as I showed you guys are very busy and that's those are usually crowded so we got a lot of jet skis that come in we have a lot of boats a lot of traffic going from Fort Lauderdale to Miami unfortunately today with the rain coming and storms and lightning 
I guess people want to stay inside, so unfortunately, it's going to be a quiet day out here in the water. If you see right behind us, this is Westlake. And Westlake, the only thing that's allowed back here are non fossil fuel vessels, which include kayaks, canoes. And what they do is they're allowed to go back here, which is a marine habitat. It's we have a lot of marine wildlife here, and this is basically their nursery. So no jet skis, no gas powered vessels are allowed to go beyond that sign right there. So this is your notice, as I was saying earlier, you have up to two hours with parking at the boat ramp, but also when you start docking to private property, this comes into effect as well, and this is going to be placed on both of those thingies. So the next time I see those two dinghies within a month period, I'll be issuing another sticker on it with the notice. And then after that, if I come across them for a third additional time, they'll just be towed and removed. So if you own those dinghies and you're watching this video, time's ticking, hurry up. Use binos to help you out. Yeah, man, my eyes are really bad. <laughs> <laughs> So, I see you pulling up. What time shift over? Shift's over at 1700 hours. And it is 1630 right now. That is correct. That's, uh, you guys that don't know military time, Google it. So, coming up to the end of the shift, what does the end of the shift look like for you typically? I mean, today was slow, mm -hmm. right? But so what are, you not, what are you gonna do now? So right now, this is when I conduct my vessel maintenance. Um, you know, not always do my shift hours and at the same time, it varies on the days whenever I feel it's appropriate. So I could be out here at all kinds of hours. But, you know, unfortunately today was a slower day. We still got a lot done. We still conducted plenty of uh, stops and educational purposes for boaters out here today. So at this point, we're just going to clean up the boat, tie it up and secure it for tomorrow. it for police vlogs episode number two with hollywood pd thank you guys again for taking us out on the boat and showing the knot squad a little bit of the day slower day but hey it is still good we got to go out on the boat check out this awesome ride right here and we did a little police work on the water yes sir can't beat that all right guys with that being said make sure you subscribe to the channel follow hollywood pd where can they find you at hollywood fl pd on instagram and hollywoodpolice.org. Hey, since the last video, are you guys still hiring? We are definitely still hiring. So yeah. if you guys are looking for a job, an exciting career in law enforcement, this is the department for you. And Will, you were, before, you were at NYPD, yes? NYPD. And you came over here three years ago? I came over here a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. That's right. And now he's on the boat. Exactly. It's an easy lateral process. I highly recommend it. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, I would recommend it too on that thing. Well. You guys, uh, we're going to keep the sign off the same for police cars, always on this channel, going to do the same thing. So, with that being said, I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you. Woo! It's like we rehearsed that. Nice.